My name is Stuart Lawler. I'm Business Development Manager and Head of Digital Content at Sight & Sound Technology here in Dublin. And for the purposes of this video, I'm also a screen reader user. To the screen reader I'm showing today is called JAWS. So first of all, let's talk about what a screen reader is. It's an application that sits on your computer and transfers the contents of the screen into high quality synthetic speech. JAWS is an acronym for Job Access with Speech and has a rich array of functionality. So let's look at JAWS in its most basic form by reading the icons on the Windows desktop. I can press the Windows key with the letter D to bring me to the desktop and bring focus to the list of icons. D, folder view, list view, Outlook 42 of 63. JAWS is currently on the Microsoft Outlook icon. I can use the arrow keys to move around the screen. Malwarebytes, file store left parent SAS, WhatsApp, Excel for access. And if I pressed enter on any of these, it would open the application or shortcut in question. I can also use something called first letter navigation, and this is really useful in this case where there's lots of icons and I may want to more quickly get to an application. As it happens, I want to get back to Microsoft Outlook. So I'll press the letter O until I hear Outlook. There's a couple of things with O on this desktop, so it may take a couple of key presses. O, one, no, 20, o, Outlook, 42 of 63. Here we are at Outlook, and I can press Enter to open that application. But I can also use the Windows Start screen or Start menu to search for an application whose shortcut may not be on the desktop. In this case, we'll try Microsoft Word. So I'll press the Windows key to open the Start menu. Search box edit, type of text. And I'll start typing Word. O -R, Word app. Press right to switch preview. Windows has predicted that I want Microsoft Word, and I'll simply press Enter to open the application. Enter. Open in dash. Open in dash Word. JAWS is informing me that Microsoft Word is opening and indeed now has opened. Email is business critical in today's world of instant communication, isn't it? And Microsoft Outlook is the application of choice for many, many people in work and in college and even at home who want to keep in touch. Outlook has a range of functionality and we're just going to look at two aspects of that today. But the Outlook application is fully accessible with the JAWS screen reader. Let's go back to our desktop by pressing Windows and D. Windows D, folder view, list view, Outlook. And as it happens, the Microsoft Outlook icon is already highlighted on my desktop, so I'm simply going to press Enter here to launch the application. Enter. Outlook brings us Open to the inbox, Outlook. and we can use the arrow keys to browse the list of messages. I'll simply press Enter to have the message open and have JAWS start reading it. Enter. Super will action accordingly. Kind regards, Marie. I can press escape to close a message and bring me back to the inbox. Escape inbox dash ship. But one of the features in Outlook that I use all the time is the calendar. It's great to be able to put your appointments in and know where you are on a given day. Let's open the Outlook calendar and have a look at how it works. I'm going to use a shortcut key from my inbox, control and the number two, to switch views to the calendar. I'm going to use the left and right arrow keys to move me backwards or forwards a day at a time. And I'm hearing this day, there's one event. If I want to hear what the event is, I'll simply press the tab key. JAWS and Zoom text video recordings, 10 to 12 Thursday. And I can press the right arrow key to move me to the next day to see if there are any events. Appointment, Friday, 19 August 2022. One event, one out of office. So as you can see, JAWS with Microsoft Outlook is a really accessible solution. Microsoft Word is a hugely popular and powerful word processor as part of the Microsoft Office suite of applications. And we're gonna show you just a couple of things you can do with the JAWS screen reader in Microsoft Word. There are many others. So remember to get in touch if you need more information. Now I've opened Word already and I have some text on screen. I'm at the very top of my document and I can start reading by simply using the arrow keys. I've pressed the control key to stop JAWS speaking. 
I can use my uh, arrow keys with the control key to move a word at a time. Provide a powerful way to. So I'm moving one word forward or left way a provides. to go a word back at a time. I may want to check the characteristics of the text to find out what font I'm using and what size the font is. So I'll issue a JAWS command to get that information. 12 point, black on white, delivery, normal style, line spacing, colon, one line, paragraph formatting, colon, aligned. So it's told me that I'm using the Calibri font in 12 point with normal style and single line spacing. What about if I want to bold one of the words in this document? Let's take the word video at the very top. top video. I'll press the Control, Shift and right arrow key to select video. video selected. And I'll press Control and B to bold it. Bold on. And now I will check the characteristics of that word. Bolded. 12 point. Black on white. Delivery. And now I've heard that the word has been bolded and the font of course is still 12 point Calibri. We've just scratched the surface with Microsoft Word, but you can probably see already that JAWS and Word is a powerful combination for any type of task. Access to the internet is essential for everyday tasks like online shopping, work or college. So it's important that we as screen reader users can get optimal access to websites. Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge are two of our preferred browsers but you can also use Firefox or Brave. And other browsers are coming along all the time, so get in touch if you have a query about a particular application. I'm going to open Google Chrome and do a quick Google search to show you how it works with the JAWS screen reader. Let's go back to our desktop. And as we did first letter navigation earlier, I'm going to do the same again and press the letter G to get to Google Chrome. I'll press Enter to open the application. Alert. This site can access your and I'm brought to the Google website straight away and I'm brought to the edit box where I can type something to search for. I'm going to search for folk music. So let's type it in F -O -L -K space -M -U -S -I -C. and press enter. Enter folk music dash Google's alert. This site can access your location. I'm now going to browse the list of results. Accessibility search of featured snippet from the folk music, type of traditional and generally rural music that originally was passed down through families and other small social groups. And I've got the first search result. I can browse through these and press enter on the page that I want to read. It's as simple as that. Before we go, it's important to say that you've been listening to JAWS speaking rather slowly. Screen reader users like myself will tend to use JAWS at a much faster speed in order to process as much information as possible. JAWS is a highly flexible application that can do lots of things and I hope we've given you a glimpse of that in this video.